praying in my bedroom last night, just crying about all the trials that I've been going through, and just realizing that the day is actually here. Yeah, like, I'm actually playing there. I uh, feel like it was just a miracle for me to even be out there. It's a moment that we have all been anxiously anticipating. A 357 day wait made Jonathan Chamachach was returned to the court even more special. Nearly a year after a knee injury that left everyday John with a torn ACL, MCL and PCL, he closed the book on any doubt that he wouldn't be able to play this season. That emotional return came against the Red Raiders who were in town in Waco. So great just to see him on the court shooting around in pregame. First possession for Baylor. Adam Flagler went three of six from beyond the arc. Here's his first. That made it three nothing. With 13.05 remaining in the first, the triumphant return. Goosebumps inside the Farrell Center as Chama Chachua hits the court. The fans go absolutely nuts. They've been waiting for this. Back to him in a moment. 7.53, Bears trailing. Keontae George, hello, hits the sink and one. Game tied at 17. With just over two to play in the first, everyday John wants in on the action. He drills it from deep. Three-pointer is good. Crowd loves it. Baylor goes into the half up 38 to 34. In the second, welcome to the Jalen Bridges Show. Corner pocket three, call him a pool hustler. Bears lead 57 to 43. Next possession, Bridges looking like a fullback in the red zone. Get off me. He led scoring with 18. BU leads by 16. And then how about one more finishing touch from Chama Chachua. He hits the two for his eighth point of the day. The Bears outscored the Red Raiders by 23 points in the second half, and they rolled to an 89 to 62 victory. Every day, John broke down the moment. They called his number inside the Farrell Center. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think I've heard my name because the gym was just so loud. <laughs> <laughs> like from the time the coach told me to get in, like everything was just so loud. I couldn't hear anything. It felt unreal about me, uh, unreal at that moment. And I was just thanking God for just being able to put me in that position and just give me this platform. Here's what the Bears are getting with the return of everyday John. He was the 2022 Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year, and he was named to the Big 12 All-Defensive Team. Good thing, too, because Baylor, they rank ninth in Big 12 in points allowed on defense coming into this game. He's got 17 career double-doubles, serving as the ultimate rim protector, and he adds a flash to the offense. And maybe most importantly, He's a national champion. He was part of that great Baylor team, and he contributed huge points in the Elite Eight and Final Four while playing 16 minutes in the Natty game. The Baylor women's basketball team is battling the third place squad in the Big 12 out in Ames, Iowa this evening. Baylor came into the contest against Iowa State, a game back of the Cyclones and two games back of Texas and Oklahoma. Score in Ames currently 44 to 41. Baylor has the lead in the third quarter. We're going to have highlights and post game reaction of the conference Duke out tonight at 10.